Hi guys, welcome to Oaxaca. This has become one of the trendiest places in all of Mexico because of its food and mezcal. And if you look around, it is so vibrant and colorful here. It's so cute, but there's so much more to the city. We have been here for 10 days already and we have discovered that it has like an amazing and hectic energy that we really like. And we can't wait to show you guys all sides of Oaxaca. So this city's full name is Oaxaca de Juarez and it is the capital city of the region of Oaxaca and it really feels like a regional capital like it's energetic and busy and loud and it feels like we're back in Mexico in the best possible way. Right now we're headed to the Zocalo which is the main square where everyone hangs out. How good does it feel to be back in Mexico? It feels good Mexico. We love you. This is awesome. Let's go to the Zambero. If you've been following around for a while, you know that last year we spent 75 amazing days exploring the Yucatan Peninsula. And if anything we learned from being in Mexico is that the first thing you do when you arrive to any Mexican city, you go straight to the Zócalo. And the Zócalo is the main square and there's always so much happening. We recommend that you like sit, find a spot in the shade and watch like local life happen around you because there's always vendors and food and restaurants. It's always really fun. But right now I'm very, very hungry. So we need to find something to eat around here. Hola. Hola. Grapefruit with chile. Mm. Oh, this is exactly, <laughs> exactly what I needed. <laughs> It is so fun to walk around the area behind the Zócalo because all the street vendors are setting up here so it's like visual stimulation everywhere that you look and you can also hear people speaking like indigenous languages and wearing traditional clothes. So the other day we did a walking tour and the guy told us that they speak 16 different languages only in the state of Oaxaca which is crazy and the most like common one is Zapotec and that must be the one that we're hearing but we have no idea how could we know. We just are so happy to be back in Mexico. It is so cool and stimulating, and there's nowhere more stimulating than the local market. So right now we're in Mercado 20 de Noviembre. This is the biggest like street food market in all of Oaxaca. Anything that you want that's like traditional Oaxacan food, you can find it here. It smells delicious. It's very hard to like know where to go and like what to get. We're gonna look around a little bit. Lady has juice on her head. Oh, that's a good one. Doesn't want to sell me things. Hola. Give it. No, just on TV. Okay. Give it to us. Agua. Agua. Take it. You got some horchata. I don't know if I've ever had horchata before. Definitely not in Mexico. Very sweet. I told you you can find anything in Mercado Vente de Noviembre. If that was me trying to balance like drinks on my head, there would be a giant mess on the floor. <laughs> I don't know how she does that. This market is awesome. It is so fun. We have been in a lot of Mexico markets and this is by far the cleanest and it's mostly food, but it's almost impossible to choose where to eat. But we have our eyes set on something because we've seen something here that 
we haven't seen anywhere else. It's this place called El Pasillo de las Carnes, which translates to the meat. Oh, we're here already. To the meat aisle or meat alley. And they have like all these grilled meats and everyone's just like shouting at you like, oh, like, what do you want? And it's so smoky. And I think G already found where we're gonna eat. We could like not do it. Like this is very, very unique. We have cactus. So this was a very chaotic experience. I've never been anywhere like this. Everything is like they sell it separately. So like the vegetables, the tortillas, the drinks. The meat, it's all a separate business, a little hustle going on. We have the grilled cactus, uh, seasoned steak, chorizo, and tortillas. No silverware, it's just like dig in, rip into it. Our neighbors are doing the same, so it's the right thing to do. And it's a very cozy it. table because uh, we sit. We made friends. Yeah. <laughs> it's good too. It's actually called Pasillo de Humo, which is very accurate. And now we're about to leave the market, but we have a personal challenge. Uh-oh, I got this shirt for Christmas. It says seek discomfort, so I gotta make myself uncomfortable. I didn't get the shirt, so I don't have to make myself uncomfortable. But you it's got it for me. It's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> you got it for me. I don't know, let's go. Okay, so for thousands of years before the Spanish came and brought different types of domesticated animals, the indigenous people survived in part of a very specific type of protein, and that protein is known as japulines, which are fried crickets. So it's time to try some fried crickets. ¿Cómo son diferentes todo esto? Son chapulines, uh -huh. diferentes sabores, diferentes tamaños. Hay grandes, medianos uh -huh. y chiquitos. ¿Y saben diferentes los tamaños? Uh -huh. Okay. Mi primera vez. ¿Quieres uno? <laughs> Chapulín. ¿Es picante o no? No, o no mal. Coquito. Oh my god. Oh, they're crunchy. Este no Está pica. bien. No pica. No. Pero son más grandes o no. Ah, no mal. Oh, sí. <laughs> Sabe bien. A mí me gusta. Compra pues. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y cómo se buscan los chapulines? En el campo, en la ah, misma. En el campo, ah. Este sí son enchilados, mira. Ok, bueno. My third one, I'm just going into it. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Yeah. yeah surprisingly good, yeah. Should dig in. Right. I think no. I like it on. There's some very tiny ones too. These are the, the baby chapulines. You want to go for it? On camera? They're, they're pretty good. <laughs> Claire, you're really brave. I'm very, very good. Yeah, go for it. She, she lets me sample them too. So there's different sizes. I think these are the biggest, and then they go medium and small. And I want to know spicy. whether you behind the camera have one of these. Yeah, no. Ah, yeah, okay. no. <laughs> You've got the here. easy job. That's just good. film me. <laughs> we're, meeting, we're meeting friends tomorrow, so maybe I'll do it with them. Oh, you should. Yeah. They're pretty good. Promise. Are they okay? Yeah. Got crickets in my teeth. Little legs sticking out. I still have a bunch of little ones. They are pretty good. I'm surprised. I'm happy we tried, or I tried it. Yeah, there's no way here. That's it for today. Gracias, señora. Señorita. Hasta luego. There's pretty much no way I can be convinced to try that. <laughs> Sorry, not even for the video. I can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> I can like smell it. <laughs> They're pretty good. He's, that guy was excited about it too. Okay, I'll, like, oh, try, I'll, try a, I'll try A baby it. one. I'll try a little Oh, they're miniature. Hold it up. You can't even see it. It's very, it's like a very tiny. Is this not? Is this not? Is this moving? No, they're fried. Is it moving? I don't know. I just felt it. I'll try it. I don't know. Just go for it. It's really not bad. This is the first time we ate insects on purpose. And what do you think? 
I mean, it's like a gotana. It tastes like, like, like lime, like lime and spicy. Chili. Oh. Okay. Divine. I don't. I wouldn't call it divine, but it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Good morning guys, today we are going to be exploring the famous Jalatlaco neighborhood and this neighborhood is super famous because as you can see behind me there's a lot of murals and it's very very colorful there's a lot of fun rooftops and restaurants, art galleries and it is just really fun to walk around, take pictures and we'll be showing you around That's our old apartment number. Oh, when we had a home. It was 204. I love how vibrant Oaxaca is, but specifically this neighborhood, Halatlaco. Did I say that right? Halatlaco. It's kind of a tongue twister for me. It's very colorful and it's so beautiful. But we learned that eight to ten years ago, Oaxaca wasn't like this at all. All the buildings were kind of gray, but it became kind of like trendy. People were coming here for gastronomy and mezcal and different things. And they just spruced the place up and they did a beautiful job. It was yeah. so nice. It is so crazy to imagine that this place was not this, you know, like seven years ago. That is so recent. And actually, this neighborhood reminds us a lot of Cartagena. We were just in Cartagena for New Year's and they have like the same style with the colors and the flags and the murals. Very, very nice. I'm going to put some pictures here so you guys can see it. And it is... Also, like if you compare this place to Centro, it's like a different type of like stimulation. Like Centro was just like yeah. people everywhere, like hecticness, like madness. Here it's kind of quiet, but yeah. just like a visual stimulation. Yeah. Very, very beautiful. Nice. Very nice. Good job, Oaxaca. We like you. So we made a little detour because we were walking and we saw this place called La Selva de los Gatos and we had to come in and it turns out there's like 20 cats in here and it is heaven. It's like a foster home for cats so they take mm. care of them until they find a home to get rescued I guess and all yeah, the proceeds of the food yeah. and the drinks go to supporting the cats. We had to support the kitties yes, so we're exactly. here. So we're here having lunch. So if you ever want to adopt a cat when you come to Oaxaca, this is where you come. And you can have vegan food. Mm -hmm which is near impossible in Mexico. <laughs> So you guys just saw the beautiful murals in the Halatlaco neighborhood, but when you walk around Oaxaca City, you'll see a different type of graffiti, and that's protest graffiti. So the Oaxacans are known for protesting, mostly for indigenous rights, but also for general human rights of the Mexican people. And they're protesting against the governments, the military, and also the police. We couldn't mention that, or we could not mention that in a Oaxaca City video. So it's a fun fact for you guys. <laughs> Now it's time to show you the side of Oaxaca I'm most excited about. Cheers! This is the best way to end any afternoon in Oaxaca. If you come here, what you have to try is mezcal. This is the drink to have here. They make it here. That's why they became like so famous, or well, partially why they became so famous. And it is delicious. I tried many years ago and it's just like nice and smoky and it's perfect. And there's one more thing that we want to celebrate today. Last week we reached 5,000 subscribers, so we wanted to have our first drink with you guys and wanted to say cheers and thank you. Salute cheers. to that. To celebrate that milestone, which may not sound like a lot for a lot of people, but for us, it's a so lot. So it was huge. We felt very good. So, so grateful. We could not do this without you. Thank you for being 
like supporting our dream. Like, yeah, thank for sure. You. Thank, thank you. you so and much. also a funny story. We got recognized for the first time here in Oaxaca by two different couples. Uh -huh. One from Romania. They live in the States, but from Romania. And, and one, one from Philly. From Philly that yeah. knew us from the Yucatan Peninsula so, videos. Me, hi. So, very nice meeting you guys. Albert, Barbara, nice to meet you. Thanks for saying hi. Anyways, we're going to finish our drink and enjoy this beautiful evening. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers. Salute. We'll see you next time. Smoking Mescal.